guys welcome back to germs workshop today we're gonna continue from our work yesterday we were working on the Chevelle and got the headlights and the parking lights and turn signals on the front work working and all wired up and everything but somehow we we uh, don't have the correct screws in the trim rings that go around the headlights so on the front of the 66 Chevelle there's four headlights and they have this nice trim ring that goes on each side. And uh, we went to the hardware store here in Hayesville, Hayesville True Value, got some new stainless steel screws. So they're going to be um, not susceptible to weather conditions and, you know, driving down the road and getting rusty and stuff like that since they're on the front of the car. So first thing I did was I took these screws. They're just uh, like a half inch long uh, 832 machine screw. I poked a hole in this box, and uh, or six holes, and we took them over to the wire wheel and scuffed them up because from the manufacturer, they have a really smooth, shiny finish, and the paint won't stick to that as well. It, it might be okay, but this is a better safe than sorry kind of situation. So we went ahead and scuffed them up on the wire wheel, uh, just around the head of the screw, and then I wiped them down with lacquer thinner and we let that flash off. And over here at my paint station, um, I got the uh, rotating turntable. So that works really well for rotating stuff, bigger items if you need to. But I think these are going to be okay. And like I said, told you guys earlier about my box fan. Um, got this 20 by 20 pleated filter on there. And then this little uh, LED light that's going to shine some more light on the situation. So I've been shaking my primer. Um, it's a little bit chilly in the garage this morning. It says to spray between 50 and 90 degrees and it's about 55 degrees. So I got the heaters running, but we're going to go ahead and shoot a couple coats of primer on this. Um, so the reason I'm painting this, just to, to be clear, the places where these screws go in this trim bezel uh, they're already painted black from the factory so I want the screw heads to blend into the black part of the trim bezel so give me a second here and we're gonna shoot some primer on these Okay, so nothing fancy here. We're just going to shoot this with some Krylon Color Max gray primer. Uh, got it at O'Reilly's. Um, no big deal. It's nothing fancy. Um, I'm by no means a professional painter, but I know what works for me. I've shot quite a few little items like this. So if this isn't how you do it, that's fine. You feel free to comment and uh, give me some tips and tricks. Um, but like I said, uh, we've got these heads prepped and we're going to go ahead and shoot them. Just a real quick light coat, and then we're going to let those dry, and uh, come back in about 10 minutes, and I'll shoot another coat after they flash off, and then I'll we'll put some paint on them. Alright, like I said, I'm going to shoot a second coat on here, so we'll do that again. this flash off for about 10 minutes and then I'll hit them with the flat black. Okay, these screw heads are looking pretty good. So I got some Rust-Oleum uh, semi-gloss black because that's what is going to match these trim bezels. And same sort of process, we're just going to sheet it on real quick. Just 
just let that flash off for another 10 minutes and then we'll get it again. Alright, here we go. We're going to shoot the second time. Oh, okay. Just let those dry for about 24 hours, and we'll put them in the trim bezel and I'll just sit up. All right, guys. So it's been 24 hours since we shot these screw heads, and so now we're going to go over and put the trim bezel on and uh, put these on the front of the car. All right. So this is really simple. We just got our three screws. This trim bezel just slides in there like that. One goes in here in the top. You see how nice that blends in? All right, so I think that looks pretty good. And as always, thanks for joining us in Germ's Workshop. And uh, if this video was helpful for you, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, remember, 10 in, 10 out.